Hey folks, Jiwo here, and we're back with some more Let's Play Crusader of Seni for the Sega Genesis. In our last episode, we made it through the Camilla Desert and the Tower of Babel. Now we're here at the Castle of Frieza, and we cross the ocean with the help of Dippy the Dinosaur. So let's get this started. Um... Alright, so head down here, and we will see a lion. Hmm... Dude, I'm trying to figure out what happened to all my Masetta. I was like... I know I was at, like, 150, but now I'm at 58. What, what is this madness? Anyway, ricochet your sword around and hit that switch. Hop over and talk to Inferno the Lion. I am a lion with a flaming mane. I came to fight monsters. Unfortunately, I was captured right in front of that switch. I need more training. Now let's see how smart you are. R. Uh-oh. Another grammatical error. Inferno joins the group. Awesome. So this allows us to use to I guess um, use our f second combination attack, which is really strong. If you use uh, Inferno and Chili, you get the strongest ice magic, which is this is a really powerful attack. You just throw your sword, and it does a ton of damage to enemies. So keep that in mind. So let's just keep Inferno equipped for the time being. Use Chili, or uh, Flash to Cheetah too, so we can run around. So this is Castle Frieza, and unfortunately all, we have all these like polar bears trying to beat us up or something. Let's see, I, don't... I keep forgetting how to do... Okay, so you gotta hit those, okay. Now there's a Mollen bag up there, and to get that you just... Throw your sword at these down here. These little ice blocks, but since you're sliding around a lot, it can be really tough. So let's just hop over here, like the little bunny I am. Get another Mullen bag! Awesome. Awesome possum. So let's. Oh, Jesus, I just smashed into some. the wall. <laughs> okay, now I always get kind of lost here. Whoa! Snowmans! Oh no! Here come the bears! <clears throat> okay, that's about all I can do up here. Whoa! Snowman! Of course, Inferno just dominates the snowman. Can at least hit him. Okay, so here we head to the right of the screen. Hop, hop. Hop around a little bit. It's another snowman. Kill this bear. Okay, where do I go? Okay, over here. Ah, oh, there's the teleporter. Alright, and here we have to use Cecil, the flying squirrel, to ricochet our sword around the room and hit that switch, well, like so. Let's switch back to Inferno. Okay. So now we can actually get to this area up here. I know this bouncing sound's probably getting annoying, I'm sorry. It's just, it's the fastest way to travel around here. Okay, so you can hit this switch up here, and there's this little passage with all these penguins. Yeah, penguins, I should say. You see, the monster called Georama is trying to take over this island. Jeez, I'm like, can't run at all. I hear that there is a temple called Root Deep Deep Underwater. Rumor has it that it's connected to this island, but I don't know. You know what, it would just be a lot easier to talk to people if I had Dippy equipped, because he doesn't slide on the ice. Did you know there's a monster in the temple called Leviathan? No, I didn't know that. 
Yeah, actually I did, but you don't. You didn't. <laughs> Leviathan may be a monster, but he is so quiet and kind. All the underwater creatures really respect him, but he does not trust humans. That sucks. Breeze! It's you, Chili! I'm glad you're safe. We were all hiding here because there were so many monsters. We couldn't get you we couldn't get out. Jiwo and everyone saved my life. They're a great bunch of friends. I wanna stay here with you, but I owe them my life. I must go with them. Ah, Chili, you are too kind. Thank you for sticking with the crew. Okay, so let's break this down. Hop over here. Oh, actually, we can do this. Oops. Where are you at, Cecil? Can we do this yet? Oh, I guess we can't. Alright, anyway. Okay, get ready to jump! Nice. Let's hop back over here. Oh, actually, I should probably break those down. Okay, there we go. And check this out. Can you guess who that is frozen in a block of solid ice? It's Amon. <laughs> and of course, we can't understand him because we can't talk to humans yet. But he's just there looking cool. Let's break that down. Break that down. Ah, oh, here's what we can do. We hit these inchworms, I guess. Or whatever th whatever this is, I don't know. Now where does he stop? Okay. Alrighty, and is that it? Oh, that's about it. <laughs> okay, so Inferno. You can hop back over here. Get ready to run. Run and jump. Totally fly across the screen. <laughs> okay, and I think we have to use Cecil again. Oops. Boink, there's one. Miss it. Okay, and I don't know if I can actually run across and make that. Oh wow, I guess I could. That was like a huge shortcut. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. And guess what we get? We found we found the seeds of life, seeds of the giant plant. <laughs> and this boss right here is Georama. And to beat him, when he turns red, use chili. When he turns blue, use inferno. That's pretty much as simple as it gets. Hey you, the seeds of cold daisy are all mine. You are not taking a single seed. Yeah, we are. You're going to get owned, fool. You going to get owned. Back to Chili. Back to Inferno. Back to Chili. Yeah, it could get kind of annoying, I guess. Oops. Wait, he turned blue again. My bad. My fault. So yeah, I guess another reason I really haven't been doing the, this LP. Oh, hang on, I'll tell you after. Grr! I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. No, you won't. Because our maximum HP just increased. Is that the lesson you tried to teach us? Oh, no. So, um, it may look like we're trapped, but down here, there's like, oh my god, where's the exit? There's no exits in this room. And I'm not gonna lie, the first time I got down here, I, I wanted to shut the game off. I was just getting so frustrated, because I couldn't find a way out. It's like, you can't melt down any trees. But... Then I just started slashing random trees, and boink! Oh my gosh, it's a secret passage. So just hop through here. Whoa! And we're in this under underwater temple, I should say. Uh, beat up. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Fire doesn't work underwater. <laughs> Let's 
do that again. Maybe I'm just not even... Okay, so when you're underwater, you can only stay under for a minute, I believe. Because there's that timer at the top of the screen. So, yeah, only 60 seconds. Oops. So I guess jumping... I guess the only animal you can really use is um, one that affects your weapon because I can't run fast like Cheetah the Hare or anything. Cheetah the Hare? What the heck? I mean, Flash the Cheetah. You know, I still can't get any names right in this game. Anyway, let's just keep going, cruising through this t underwater temple. So this was the underwater temple that those penguins were talking about. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay, so... Let's smash some of these jumping fishies. There we go. Get annihilated. That's right. Okay, push these blocks in the way. So you can run past. Let's get some fresh air here. And keep going. Oh! Oh, that was messed up, dude. Freaking fish. Oh! Come on! No! No! I don't want to slide down there. It's freaking fish. It's going down. That's right. Get out of here. Okay, so here we have more um, rocks to slash through and a money bag at the bottom left so you should grab that I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to afford that uh what do you call it dude what's it called that apple of life from the mermaid <laughs> I need what 650 more Mollins, and that's if I never die ever again so I'm gonna take a little shortcut around here Oh, so like I was saying, um, yeah, the reason why I really haven't been able to do many LPs is because um, I've been busy with my real life, you know, I have a job now, which is totally awesome, totally cool, and, um, <clears throat> hang on, watch, whoa, oops, oops, whoa, whoa, there we go, shortcuts. So yes, I have a job, and also I've been playing through Fallout 3 from on my Xbox. Yeah, so and ev I think everybody who's played that game knows that it's in it's in a it's a huge RPG. I mean, action RPG. Um, there's like so much you can do. I mean, I've I think I've spent like 24 hours playing it, and I'm only on the third like main quest or something like that. Just because you could branch out and do so many freaking um, quests. It's it's really it, it's really good. It's a really good game. So <laughs> if you haven't played Fallout 3, I definitely recommend you check that out. Also, if you take this way, there's a golden apple up here. So that'll restore your health, as well as give you one extra apple. So I think we are running short on time. And yes, in our net. Well, actually, let me get to to the exit of this place because this is really annoying. Okay, this part's gonna be really annoying, actually. Da 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 da! Pushing blocks underwater. That's what we do best. Push blocks underwater. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to push this top block all the way over. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this because I'm running short on time. So I'll stop the episode here. Or when I actually push it all the way over there. Actually, I'll stop it here. Or I'll start my outro. <laughs> So thank you all for watching, Crusader of Seni for the Sega Genesis. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you all next time as we 
keep making our way through this underwater temple. Oh my gosh! We're gonna run out of life. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!